So I've been spending a good amount of time with Far Cry Primal over the last week or so. Kind of thought I'd give you a rundown of what you can expect from the game, some of my thoughts so far. I think I've gotten in over 10 hours of gameplay, and it says that I'm only about 20% done with the game. So I don't know how much of that is, you know, main missions that are still left, or, you know, how much is it, you know, collecting items or doing side missions and quests and things like that. Uh, but I have spent a good amount of time, and I've still got plenty more to go. So this isn't a full-on review, but it is a first glance with lots of gameplay put in. So the game caught my eye simply because I like this time period. And I've always wanted to kind of play a game where it was it was this day and age. It was, it was like Stone Age. And I kind of wish there were dinosaurs in the game, but this is supposed to be set, I think, in 10,000 BC, which is, you know, kind of a few million years off the mark so it doesn't quite match up but the premise of the game goes like this you're a member of a tribe called the Winja, and they've been ran over by a couple of other tribes that are trying to destroy them i mean i guess the wilderness just ain't big enough for the the few of you so to make a long story short you're basically completing missions to rebuild your tribe because it's pretty much been decimated you know, so you're trying to capture people who have been captured by the enemies or who have been displaced and then of course you're trying to build up an army uh, to defeat these enemy tribes so for anybody who's played Far Cry, this is Far Cry. I mean, you know, whether you take the time period uh, away from it or not, this feels just like pretty much every other Far Cry game. It's a Far Cry game without vehicles and guns, basically. Um, you, you've got hunting and gathering, which I admit actually makes more sense in this game than it has in past games. Um, you're, you're taking over forts, uh, but instead of capturing watchtowers, you're, you're capturing bonfires. So on paper, this might actually seem or sound like kind of a step backwards. It's like, well, it's got Far Cry without, you know, flying and vehicles and guns and explosions and all that. But for whatever reason, I think I've actually enjoyed so far the beginning of this game more than I have past Far Cry games. And, and maybe it's the time period or whatever. Uh, but part of it, I think, is also a couple of the new mechanics that they've added because they, they have added some new things. Uh, for one, as you're doing missions, you're building your base back at home, which I like. So whenever you start out, you just start out meeting one other person pretty much. And as you're completing missions, you're growing your village. So you're going to go back to this place over time throughout the course of the game and as you come in as you do missions and things you actually see your your village kind of building up so it gives me a reason actually to go out and do side missions because i'm usually the type of person who i just go through the main missions just run through the game and i don't really get caught a lot on the side missions and, and side quests and things because a lot of times for me they just seem like time killers uh, but on this game, actually seeing the village grow actually made me want to go out and do some of the extra stuff. So that's why I've been kind of, you know, just doing other things within the game. Uh, so I do like that aspect of it. So it's an open world game. You can literally go whatever direction you want to go in. You can decide which missions you want to take, what order. And you can go out, you know, you can capture or, or help other members of your team. And as you capture people or get them back into your fold, then you can actually get different skill sets, which can help you create new weapons or, or have added benefits. And so another one of the newer things that's added is, so like one of the guys that you'll run across is a witch doctor. And you know how in past Far Cry games you had like trippy missions where, you know, you would smoke dope or uh, take plants that were like hallucinogenics. Uh, so the, the same type missions here, but uh, instead you're like drinking blood and guts and things like that. And the missions, I always enjoyed the trippy missions. Like whoever comes out with these, is, it's pretty crazy. Um, so with these, this, this Wish Doctor, he also allows you the ability to tame different animals, which is something that's kind of been featured in all the trailers for this game. There is a pretty good amount of animals that you can tame, and each one has its own set of skills. So, like leopards, they can jump. Uh, bears can't, but you can actually ride a bear. 
so there are different features. It's not like the the game is set up where you can't go out and just find the, the baddest animal on, on the world and just, you know, tame it and then use it as kind of like a win button. So you do have to kind of work your way up the ladder. But I did feel like it was super easy when I first started out using this because my animal was going in there and just tearing up villages like I wouldn't even have to do much work like the the animal that I had tamed was doing a lot of work for me so it almost felt like it was a little too easy starting out but the difficulty in the game did pick up quite a bit and so like now in the game if I send my animal out there like he gets jacked up you know almost instantly so so I do like uh, a few of the new features in the game. I like the building of villages. Uh, like I said, gathering means a lot more in this game. I like being able to tame the animals, and, and the animals are, are cool. But uh, this is still a Far Cry game through and through. So if you're expecting anything different, I mean, you're going to be disappointed. So I'm going to try to finish it up shortly, give you my review of it, uh, tell you if the ending was worth it. Because like I said, I don't know how far I am as far as the main missions go. It just tells me that I'm 20% through. Uh, Ubisoft did hook me up with this copy of the game so I could uh, show you and kind of give you the information. That lets you make an informed decision as to whether or not this is a game you want to try out. So if there's something you want to know, just uh, post below and I'll try to hit you up and answer your questions. That does it for me, The Red Dragon. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.